Let me ask you this, man. Rod Wave, man, because uh, he he is the, the one that everybody, when I be listening, they be like, man, Rod Wave go hard, Rod Wave go hard. I, I look at you, Rod Wave, Ray, uh, 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 and Darius. The, the pain and the music and just going to that place and singing these songs, man. It, am I missing somebody? Mo3. Uh, Mo3, yeah, but he passed away. But yeah, yeah Mo3. That, yeah. That, who, who had this style first? Which, the pain style? Yeah, that, that singing pain style. Me, I came out first. You had it first. Look, times don't lie. My dog came out 2014. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to go another drink with my dog. And I just want to sit and talk some shit with my dog. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. When you think about uh, just uh, the, 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 are y'all considered the South? Kansas, Mid Midwest. Midwest. So when you look at the music, how do you feel like the music is now for us just on a whole? Do you feel like it's, it's the music is growing? In, uh, in, in, in the Midwest? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, I mean, we got places like Chicago, Detroit. I was just up there. Detroit bumping. Detroit's on fire. That's Midwest. But Kansas is, I'm coming with it. I'm trying to start a, get artists out of Kansas, Missouri, and Illinois. So we, it's, it's more, just not just Chicago and Detroit, it's other places like Nebraska's. They don't get a shot. No, I ain't never heard. Who, is there any rappers from? I never heard one from Nebraska. Never. Uh, this one is, he signed a Tech Nine named King Iso. King, King Iso, he, he pretty, he he's pretty, pretty good. popping out of Nebraska. Yeah, Tech Nine really different. He got like a cult following, man. Yeah, Tech Nine could travel by himself. Man, them niggas came over here looking for his stuff one time. I couldn't believe it. They, they come over looking for his stuff. I was like, it was something I had that he had dealings with. Because I got his picture. Me and him met years ago. Yeah. I'm like, these niggas just coming. Then the niggas start coming back, bringing little things that he had from Tech Nine and them. I'm like, how the hell he get it? And it, it was exclusive stuff. I'm being real. Tech made the, the Forbes list off of merch. So that's what it was. Yeah. He was like, man, this is what everybody doing. I was like, how the hell are you doing? I can't find this stuff. He was wanting me to find this Tech 9 stuff. Yeah. And I couldn't do it. I'm, I don't know where it's at. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that he, he had it. He's big on merch. So how are you doing on merch? I, I, Actually, I'm about to buy two more machines. I'm about to start running my own merchandise. Okay. I got the uh, the machine that sells for you, and then I got the yeah, uh, embroidery the machine. machine. Yeah. I, I went to L.A., and, and I checked out this guy's. Factory, I was like, man, I can get a couple of these machines. I can do this myself. Mm -hmm. I make good money. I mean, I'm a, I'm a see and can do type person. I'm a Nick Cannon, you, you know, man, drum line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard I can do. I see I can do. Yeah, by, just play it when you see it. Yeah. Let me ask you this, man. Rod Wave, man, because uh, he he is the, the one that. Everybody, when I be listening, they be like, man, Rod Wade go hard, Rod Wade go hard. I, I look at you, Rod Wade, Ray, uh, 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 and Darius. The the pain and the music and just going to that place and singing these songs, man. It, am I missing somebody? Mo3. Uh, Mo3, yeah, but he passed away. But yeah, yeah Mo3. That, yeah. That, who who had this style first? Which, the pain style? Yeah, that, that singing pain style. Me, I came out first. You had it first. Look, times don't lie. My dog came out 2014. Yeah. Yeah. He did have first. He did. Yeah. And when I was you, first one to a Boosie. I, I toured Boosie before Mo3 did. I think it was uh, Dariz. Then, the, then um, no, the, was, Mo3 came. Mo3 came. Three, came. After, three after me. Then Dariz. But I'm saying, though, uh, and, and if you listen to some of Dariz, old songs like that, too. But it, them ones that just came out newer songs, you hear more. That's why. But really? I know the red DMO3. Because Mo3 yeah. had just started rapping. He ain't been rapping that long. He ain't been rapping that long no. in the past? How long was no, he rapping? Like six years. That's a long hell. No, it ain't. But like when you first How started, long you he rapping doing when, it when, around that time with Mo3? Like okay, so that. I'm two years before three. Probably a year and a half, too. Wow. So what you what do you plan to take this to, man, if you were going to take it to the next level? How would you take it to the next I, level? The, the reason I, I probably don't get my full credit is because, like I told you, I wasn't making all those songs because of my child. Yeah. I would have gave you way more pain records if I would have had a... I man, probably made more of those pain records like that. But, yeah. Well, I did, I did another one called I Got To. A Boosie came right after that. Okay. I got to get my mom out the hood. Made sure that my kids is living good. Then pay with Kevin Gates. I was really. You did. A, did he do pay with? I didn't know I didn't that. Know that. Money to be paid, nigga. Let's get paid. Yeah. Try to fall out the frame, nigga. I 
I, I got I had song money back, yo, before he even got super cracking. I Are worked you for, serious? I worked for everybody, bro. I've been really out here. I just ain't get this super attention. I'm not from Dallas where I got multiple people. I'm from Kansas. Yeah. My demographic is mostly white. Yeah. You know? So I white think Tech Nine makes the music he makes. Yeah, he and did. prospers so good that being makes from that sense. area. I don't have an urban fan base in, in Topeka, Kansas to promote to. So the reason I it took me so long is I have to travel so much. I'm traveling right now every day. I can't make it from there. Yeah. yeah. I can't go to the mall and, and get it cracking or do it. Go, I can't go. They won't let me go to the high schools and perform. But but how what, how, is, how is Atlanta embracing you? Because you, how long you been down there now? About three months. Atlanta's embracing me like crazy. I love Atlanta. That's a part of the process and then to get everybody to start mm -hmm. seeing it more, marketing it better. And yeah. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. What's the best thing that happened to you in Atlanta? The best thing that happened to me in Atlanta? Yeah. Probably all the interviews I was doing. Yeah. Uh, the networking. The network is, is key. You see somebody everywhere you go. In Atlanta, it's Black Hollywood yeah. for real. Yeah, no, I'll be down there. I yeah, definitely know it. One day, I'm with, one day I'm with Drummer Boy. Next day I'm with Derez. Next day I'm with Dro. Next day I'm with Tusi. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like... Whoever I'm with, you might meet somebody. You can, it's Atlanta. It's Atlanta. Man, who would you like to work with before I get y'all for here? Who would you like to work with? I want to work with the female artist. I'm trying to work with like her. I want to work with Kaylani. I want to work with, uh, I want to work with uh, like, like like those women, like you know, the women artists that's cracking. And if you want to go male-wise, like Ty Dolla Sign. Okay. Uh, P&B Rock. I'm trying to get that style. Yeah, that yeah, R &B. yeah, yeah. That and bring it and flip it. Would you ever do something with a uh, reggae artist? Oh yeah. Like I, who would you choose? Uh, see, I'm with Empire. They got a lot of African artists that they did. <laughs> they sign. do. That oh, it's a Fire Boy. He just went gold hard. They got they they, they he with Empire. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's easier to work with people with the label. Yeah, I mean, I I, I work with I like. I, I don't work with all the rappers. I don't work with a lot of rappers. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I work, like I said, I work with Moneybag. I don't work with, I got a song with Dolph too. Yeah. I got a song with, uh, oh, anybody probably, probably think I pretty much know him. Yeah, I didn't know him or, or cross paths with been in the studio. Working. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.